The situation on the dev market is not easy. It is really difficult to get a new job, even for developers with experience. And during last 10 years, I saw lots of interviews where developers failed because they didn't follow these guidelines. By the end of this video, I want to show you some tips that will help you to get a job and go easier through the interview process. And the biggest tip that I want to share with you from the start is that you want to lead the conversation. What does it mean? If you just come to the interview, you don't ask any questions, you don't even start talking, you simply wait for questions from other side, it means that you will just answer random questions. In the best case scenario, you will get a question like tell about your working experience, and then you will have a possibility to lead the conversation. The main problem is that most developers don't know everything and you can't realistically answer random questions perfectly. So this is a bad way. The good way is to lead the conversation. Either start with telling about your experience and what you did, because this is something that you know really well, or you can ask about company, about their current stack, and when the person will tell you about that, you can make some remarks about their structure, what do you think, or you can give some recommendations on the spot. It will show the interviewer that you are a knowledgeable developer, and most importantly, you have something to talk about with the interviewer. So you need to avoid just answering random questions. Make it a conversation with the topic where you can talk about something that you know. Just a quick example, you can say that in the last job you built a really huge form with validation messages, which were generated dynamically from the API call based on the specific user. The next tip that is also really important will help you to sound knowledgeable. If the person on the interview doesn't use correct terms for things, then it doesn't sound like he is knowledgeable. You need to understand words like API, front-end client, server course, latency or RAM and so on. So you need to have a basic vocabulary of programming and use it effectively. Because if you are saying, yes, I implemented that thing that is connected to the API, it does not sound like you are a knowledgeable person. You need to know all these terms, design patterns and algorithm names, because this is how developers are typically communicating. The next tip is obvious, but I want to say it again. You must have enough skills for the senior level. And if you feel like you don't have enough skills and you visited several interviews and failed, then you need to write down everything that you are missing and just learn that. And this is exactly what we are doing in my middle to senior frontend bootcamp, where I help middle developers to prepare for senior position and get a senior job. The next one is leadership. Most developers that are coming for the senior position don't even think about it as a leadership position. They simply want to code, they like coding and that's it. But a lot of devs who got senior positions, even when they didn't have great coding skills, were taken just because they have good leadership experience. This is something that is needed for a senior developer because you will guide other developers, check their PRs, help with their architecture and so on. Yes, you are not a leader on paper, but in the team senior developer is somebody who helps other developers. This is why even when you are talking about your experience, it makes a lot of sense to also mention your leadership skills, like you helped some junior to understand how to write architecture and that then he could implement features on his own. The next important point is skill depth. It is not enough to just know how to code. You need to be able to debug and understand the environment around it. Like for example, you have a memory leak on production, how to fix it, how to debug and understand from where it is coming. Or how for example you can reduce memory usage on your website. Another important tip is for senior developer, again, it is not enough to just code your piece like frontend. You need to have awareness about the whole ecosystem. You need to understand what are pipelines, how they are working, how code is being deployed, how backend is working, at least on some level. Because you will work with backend developers, you need to understand what is API, how it is working, what people are actually doing on the backend, and how the data is coming from database to the client. If you know this, at least on some minimum level, it is much easier to communicate with other devs in order to create new features efficiently. 
One more tip is algorithms. Most developers can't really solve algorithms because this is not what we are doing every single day at work. But on interviews you will get algorithms a lot, especially on a senior level. Why is that? Because people want to check that you can not only write code, but also optimize it for performance. This is why it is important for you to know the rules how to solve algorithms, at least with brute force methods. And additionally, I would even recommend to try and solve like 10 or 20 different tasks about algorithms. Even if you don't get this specific task on the interview, you will have an idea how to solve it correctly. One more important tip is tell interviewers something that you did really great. Sometimes you would even get such question from the interviewer directly. Like for example, can you tell about some piece of code or architecture that you are proud of? And I highly recommend you to prepare such story in advance so you know what you are talking about. For example, you can tell that you optimized rendering in Angular application, which reduced page loading from 5 seconds to 200 milliseconds. And after this you can tell what exactly you did to achieve that. This has a lot of business value and this is something that people want you to do in your company. And I want to voice it once again, you want to tell about business impact. You should not tell a story how you coded this awesome feature with your great coding skills. You want to tell something about business impact. Because on the senior level it is not that interesting anymore how awesome your function is looking like. What is more interesting how you can apply your knowledge to add more value to business. And one more important tip is communication. Here we are talking about trade-offs, constraints and reasoning. Which actually means you need to be prepared to answer questions, how you would solve the problem, why this is the best variant and why you didn't take some other way. So you need to show your reasoning, show that there is no a perfect way to solve the problem, but there are some trade-offs which are important and you obviously need to point them out. So here the communication is a key because when everything is crystal clear beforehand and better even written down, the working environment is much better overall. So if you are serious about getting a senior job, I highly recommend you to check my middle to senior frontend bootcamp, which covers all this stuff in depth, including algorithms, interview preparation and everything that a senior dev must know. Check the link in the description.